Welcome back to the Amy Kardashian and the Expert Show, where we bring some of the top experts in the world to help you transform your business and personal life. My name is Amy Kardashian. Not, not Kardashian. Kardashian. And I am your co-host, Stephanie Thompson. I'm a classically trained singer-songwriter. In this episode, we're talking about how to awaken to your inner beauty with Mitzi Reed. She wrote a book, Awaken to Your Inner Authentic Beauty. And in this particular segment, we are going to be talking about mm. sacred self-care. Now, Mitzi, why is sacred self-care in the book? Yeah, why is that? <laughs> well, you know, when I was going through my own health journey, I realized, and, and I think I um, talked about this in the other segment, that I grew up in an environment where, you know, luxury and, you know, I mean, while well, sacred self-care was actually a luxury and it was considered frivolous and, you know, you take care of everyone else before you take care of yourself. yourself. Mm -hmm. And then when I was going through my health issues, I realized that's part of, you know, being healthy in mind, body, and spirit. Mm -hmm. And sure. that is part of the negative body image that I had because I didn't feel worthy you know, to take care of myself, you know, so I was busy taking care of my kids, my husband, you know, everyone in the community, and then I started getting sick, you know, and, and I actually, about 15 years ago, came out, came down with um, cancer of the uterus, and a prolapsed um, uterus and cancer of the uterus, and then pre-cancer um, of the cervix. Wow. By the time I got to, um, through with surgery, the doctor came out and said, well, it's a good thing you got the hysterectomy, because it was starting to develop into um, stage oh. one. Oh. So, but all that during that time, you know, even though I was eating healthy and all that, I wasn't healthy. But you were stressed. I was stressed. And then you know, I wasn't moving. I wasn't active anymore. And so, you know, I started gaining um, the, the weight. And that's when I decided something's got to change. So I started taking care of more of myself with the encouragement of my husband, surprisingly enough, mm -hmm. you know, that a man would actually encourage you to take care of yourself first. And he encouraged me and I started doing that. And I started looking for different ways um, to actually nourish my mind, body, and spirit. And I started writing stuff down. I started doing, having it as a habit. And that's where I put it in the book. So that's how it happens. Nice. Oh, okay. So what is your uh, daily routine like? Mm. Well, you know, before when I was, you know, working as, and, and as, as far as an office, you know, it was always just get out of bed, you know, eat breakfast and go to work and, you know, do your thing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, because I have my own business and stuff, but you can do it without, um, a, you know, a business. You can do it with a job. But my daily routine basically consists of when I wake up, I take, a, you know, a couple of deep breaths. You know, I really get connected with, you know, my essence, my spirit. You know, I start setting the intention for the day. And when I'm saying intention, I'm not saying, well, you know, all the to-do list, you know, all that you have to do. Yeah. It's more like, how do I want to feel? What do I want to experience? You know, um, and, and just going about that day. You know, I may light a candle. I do meditation. I've been doing yoga, you know, for gosh, 15, 20 years, probably longer than that. Um, and, you know, so I do a little bit of that. I always have a protein shake, go about my day. Throughout my day, then I just, I take, I make sure I take a couple of deep breaths to really I get connected. I need to do that right now. <laughs> <sighs> oh, yes. yes. Because, you know, we work, I mean, people work hard, whether mm. you're raising kids or you have your own business or... You just have a job, you are working without even knowing that you're not giving yourself time, and uh, I'm guilty of that. Yes, honestly, and you know, I'm guilty of that, and I she think knows. We, yeah. we all are, and, and what I did was I made sure in, the, in my calendar, yeah. I always put down time for myself. Nice. You know, even if it's you know 15 minutes, I put something down so that I realize, hey, I'm important too. But so. isn't that something we find time for everybody else? Mm -hmm. as, Usually women, that's what we do. We find time for our kids, grandkids, uh, the boss or friends or your mother, father, whatever. You know, mm -hmm. we always seems like we find time to give, mm -hmm. but we don't find time to really take. Right. And mm -hmm. that is a hard time to really accept to take. Right. And uh, just really absorb that you are, you need the 15 minutes. So make an appointment, like she's saying, with yourself, just 15 minutes a day, that could make a difference in your life. 
It, 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 it sure has with me. It has. You know, it's a good reminder, you know, for me. And, you know, I actually highlight mine in, in pink, you know, and for it, sacred self-care. You're not saying just take 15 minutes by watching television. No, no. <laughs> Unless it's something games. inspirational, but <laughs> no, I'm I'm talking about you know if, if you want to garden, maybe some people like to garden, you know, whether it's listening to jazz, maybe putting on a candle, you know, um, you know, giving yourself even the bubble bath, the massage, you know, um, yes. buying fresh flowers, you know, for yourself, mm -hmm. you know, um, eating a very nourishing meal, you know, and making sure that you put out, you know, the good china for yourself, and you know, have a glass of wine or you know, non-alcoholic beverage, whatever light a candle and really nourish yourself yeah, um, absolutely just you know if nobody buys you flower stop by the store and buy you some exactly yeah. there's yeah. nothing <laughs> stopping you from yeah, buying your own I have flowers. a lady one time she said my husband tells me what a mm. uh, flower they're gonna go bad anyway you know and he, he just get her something for something she she needs uh, she needs it anyway not something special to feel like mm. oh that's something special well, I said, go buy yourself something special then. Right. You know, right. not something you really need it. Right. Yeah. And your and your anniversary or your birthday or something. It has to be something special. Nobody does that. Just you to go do it. Exactly. And I, I used to do that. And I'll, I'll give you a little story. My birthday actually falls on December 30th. And so I always got skipped over during <laughs> uh, during that time because everyone's celebrating the Christmas holidays. Yeah. And on my 30th birthday, I finally decided, you know what, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. You know, I don't care what anyone Good else does. And that's when I started giving myself, you know, or going to massage therapists, mm -hmm. you know, go to the spas, you know, um, buy myself some flowers, go out to a nice dinner. Take you know, care of yourself. And take care of myself. That was my birthday celebration that's so. inspiration right there yes I yes. like that thank you what else can we do well there is so many things that, that you could do get the book get the book, <laughs> yeah, get the book. <laughs> it has hundreds right of here. ideas in there you know but I, I one of the things that I'm gonna as far as the um, the five tips sure you know, do you want me to go through that okay well I don't I don't mm. think we have time for the five tips but we can do one okay we can yeah. do one I think as far as just making sure like I um, said before as far as connecting with your breath connecting with your essence connecting with who you are on the inside so just breathe you know yeah. a few times a day I mean we do it naturally but just consciously um, breathe and it really brings you into the center isn't that beautiful mm -hmm. and nice. that simple thing that's just simple thing giving yourself by just breathing in and breathing out it gives you the connection to really appreciate who you are and where you're at right now mm -hmm. that's beautiful so that's the first step. that's the first step yes. we have four left four left when we come back we'll be talking about the rest of the four so we have two more segments two more powerful information to help you to connect with your inner I, self. I think we have one more segment, Amy. Are we're we're actually, actually on the third more? segment. Oh my goodness, it you were so not feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> we have, Thank we you have, for your correction. Wow, yeah, that's a good more sign. Segment. That's yes. a good you know, We're lost with the, with the information here. You know, you've inspired that's me great. because I, I never feel like I have time when I'm, you know, taking a shower and everything. Yeah, you're I'm going to take fresh. a bubble bath. I, I, I have not you done that, do that in forever. Good, and I'm going to do that. Here you go. You. Yeah. That's, that's the first uh, step that you're taking. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when we come back, she's going to share with us another four steps. And that will be the last segment. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> 